Hey guys, hey guys, this is Forder Gaming with a brand new video, and today we are going to be making another tier list. This is going to be um for our next Overwatch video as well. This is going to be ranking Overwatch heroes based on skill, meaning that S tier would be very high skill to play, and D tier would be very low skill to play. So, we're going to take turns going back and forth on different rankings. I will be going first. This is Doomfist. Um, I'm pretty sure most of you guys agree, but I think he's going in S. Now it's your turn. Yes, Doomfist is, um, he's kind of a difficult character to play. Um, and I feel like a lot of the really good Doomfist players are very good. So I agree with Border C. He's in the S tier. All right, so D.Va. Obviously, because she's a D.Va main, meaning that this character is very easy. <laughs> I don't think she's ever played as anything that's hard, but um, I'll be thinking about this separately. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, D.Va's- yeah, D.Va's like a, um, a solid. She's like high mobility, high damage. Um, as long as you're not an LOL spammer, then um, you're, you're pretty solid, you know? So I, I, that, I think it deserves A, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, so as a D.Va main, um, I think that obviously the really good D.Va players, um, they're very different from casual D.Va players, but uh, I don't think that she's the same as Doomfist, so I'm going to put her in A as well. Now, Winston. I am a Winston main. Now, this is non-biased at all, but I do believe that Winston is, um, supposedly he uses a lot of uh, strategies, kind of. I think he's a very, you need to be thinking chop of your head, you know, to be playing him. He's like, not too hard, but you definitely have to be thinking. Um, I'll put him in a, I'm sorry, but above D.Va. <laughs> it's funny how he's, all of his mains are <laughs> ending up before. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so. So, okay, this is what I'm also going to say about Winston. Winston is, uh, like, when you like come across a Winston player, if they're really good, they like to deploy the bubbles for your teammates, and they protect you really well. Um, for others that are not very good, um, they just keep dying. They just leave, and then they die, and it's really hard for supports to come and help. So I'm going to have to put him in front of D.Va as well. No, Hammond. Um, Hammond is like... I used to play Hammond more. I, I still love Hammond. Hammond will always be, like, top five. Um, Hammond, he's... He's... Mm, he's hard to play, but at the same time, once you get it down, you just can't really sell as much. So... I'll put him behind, behind D.Va. Okay, so my opinion is, well, for one, Hammond is very cute. Um, but aside from him being super cute, I think he has a lot more things that he needs to do in order to be a solid tank. So when I come across Hammond players, some it's very divided. It's like they're either really good or really bad. So I'm going to have to say he is behind Doomfist. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. No. Arisa. So Arisa is quite a bal- No, no. They're not a balanced character. Right now they're actually quite good. But um, Arisa is balanced in skill. I don't think it really takes too much to play Arisa. I really don't, to be honest. Maybe C. Okay, I agree with Border C there as well. I think that Arisa is one of the easier tanks to play. Um, maybe because she has, I mean, her abilities are not as complicated. Um, so I will also put her in C. All right, now Ramatra. So um, Ramatra, without a doubt, isn't is like very balanced in skill and stuff. I think higher than Arisa, but definitely lower than the other one, so B. Okay, s yeah, so I think Ramatra is um, pretty simple too. Um, if you're able to utilize and get down using your barriers very well to protect your teammates, um, then you have a good ram. 
Um, I'm gonna put him in front of Arisa. Um, so now I'm Zarya. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Zarya's that hard to play. I think, um, you gotta get down your bubbles well. Accuracy, you don't really, like, there's only so many things you need to think about because you don't have any extra utility, just bubbles. Um, but you do have to, like, master bubbles. Um, behind Ramatra in B, I'd say. Okay, so I think Zarya with uh, what Fortress he said with the bubbles, I think that, um, you, yeah, you really do have to get that down in order for Zarya to survive and be a good tank. Um, so it takes a little bit more skill than I think the other ones do, so I'm gonna put her in B. Junker Queen. Um, Junker Queen is a frogger, for sure. She's a brawl tank. Um, brawl tanks are never as hard as some of the other ones. Uh, she's like... Mm. In front of Arisa and C. Um, I think Junker Queen has a lot more going on, like where she's able to like heal herself and heal others and make their movements faster and everything. Um, and so she is balanced in my opinion. Um, as far as skills, yeah, I'm gonna put her in front of Ramatra. Cool. So now Reinhardt. Um, Reinhardt is a fan favorite of a lot of people. I'll say that. Um, he can be challenging sometimes, but I think he is on the easier side of characters. Now, I think I'm going to put him in between Junker Queen and Orisa in C. Okay, um, let's see, Reinhardt, he can be a really good uh, shield for everyone, um, and usually I've s I don't really see too many horrible Reinhardts, to be honest. Um, yeah, maybe he's, he's easier to play, I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know, I think I'm gonna put him in front of Arisa, like right there. Now, Roadhog. Now, um, I don't think he's too challenging, to be honest. I think you can, like, the thing is, mastering his abilities are not very hard. You can easily master hook turns, and, um, you know, like, honestly, just get down some, like, cool techs with hook and your set, and I don't think he's that hard to play. Now, I would put him in D, but there is a character that definitely deserves to go in D, so I'm putting him behind Orisa in C. So, okay, I think that my opinions are similar to yours, except um, Roadhog is kind of an interesting character in the sense that you can hook people off in like certain maps. So in order to master that and be really good at it, um, I think it's a different kind of uh, tactic. Um, so I'm going to put him in front of Junker Queen. Sigma, he is skilled, but he's like not top top, but he is skilled. I think I'll put him, um, behind Hammond in A. By the way, feel free to change anytime. Yeah, point. yeah, sounds good. So, Sigma, yeah, maybe he, <laughs> wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm back. sorry, but maybe I'll nerf Diva down behind Hammond <laughs> okay. and then. Sigma and Devo, they're always kind of like, one of them will always counter the other, it's usually Sigma counters Diva. Um, skill-wise though, who takes more skill? I could see it being both, they're kind of even. I'll just put Sigma on the back to be just easy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think Sigma is an interesting character. He's very annoying if you have one on the enemy team because <laughs> he's constantly chucking things at you. Um, and it's really annoying as a support. But, uh, yeah, he probably is more skilled than Ramatra for some reason. I like to compare both of them because of the shield and the ability to, like, I mean, Ramatra doesn't throw anything at you, but, like, just that kind of feel. 
Um, but he does seem more skilled. So I'm going to place him actually behind Zarya. Alright. Alright. Now, we all know who is going in D. Yes. <laughs> I don't Unfortunately. Think, yeah, I mean, like, he's, um, Mauga. He's not very hard to play with a very high payoff. So I'll put him in D, and there's really no explanation for that, so it's her turn. Yeah, I'm gonna put um, Magua in D as well. Alright, um, Farah. Farah is. So this is the first DPS on the list. Mm -hmm. I think Farah is skilled, and um, if you didn't know with these tier lists for uh, damage, um, for example, if you think Farah is more skilled than, let's just say, Sigma, you wouldn't put him or put her in front of Sigma, she's in her own damage tier. Okay. Yep, so, um, Farah is definitely skilled, I'll put her in A so far. Um, Farah, if you have one on the enemy team, very annoying, justice reigns from above, um... Yeah, ultimate is so non-skilled, but... Yeah, like, it, it's just... <sighs> but you're right, like, I think the ability to time everything to be in the air for as long as you can and to avoid and to be on the offense i think she is pretty skilled um in comparison to the other dps's i'm gonna put her in a as well junk rot junk rot is not skilled c your turn <laughs> I'm not sure why you think he's not skilled totally, but, um, to me, he, he is quite interesting. If you have a really good junk rat on your team, you know, they can be quite annoying and disruptive. So I'm going to put him, okay, I'll still put him in C. <laughs> All right, Echo, Echo. Mm, I think the main skill factors, everything is pretty much projectile except for the focusing beam. So, B. Yeah, so I think Echo is, um, also flies in the air like Farah, but like, uh, she doesn't really need to time things as much as her, so I agree. I think she's in B as well. Alright, Ash. Ash is like. I can see Ash being skilled, you know? Um, you can, like, kind of play mid-range, and you have to be effective if someone tries to dive on you, and, um, Bob is, Bob is, like, amazing, you know? Bob he, is in its own self, yeah. Yeah, Bob, Bob doesn't really take much skill, but, um, Ash somewhat does, so I'll put her in front of Pharaoh. I think that Ash is very, um she's very important to have because she can um be effective at long range too right and so yeah i'm gonna put her behind fair actually next up cassidy so this character i will say um depends he's pretty high skilled except unless you have experience with playing like counter strike or call of duty kind of Contents into something else. Um, he's purely aim skill because you can only go for headshots. His body shot damage is horrible. You might as well just play someone else. Um, for that reason, I'll put him in front of Ash and A. Okay, I changed my mind. I was just thinking about Ash, and I think Ash really does. De uh, like her ability depends on accuracy, so I put her in front. I'm gonna put her in front. And Cassidy, um, I'm gonna put him in front of Echo. In front of Echo? Mm -hmm. Cassidy? Mm -hmm. the monkey? Okay. Um, <laughs> the Reaper, so I'm a Reaper main for damage. Now, this, oh, by the way, this whole tier list is non biased. Um, obviously, the alt doesn't take very much. I can admit admit that and yeah to be honest if you master your just like crosshair placement crosshair placement is everything and you master just like the right stealth he 
it's not too hard to go from there. Behind Echo in B. Ah. Behind Echo in B or in front of Junkrat. Ah, oh, but that seems wrong. So behind Echo in B. Okay, so I don't play as Reaper, uh, Ford or C does, and I know that a really good Reaper, it takes way more skill to be placed in the right position at the right time and to take out multiple people, so I think that he's actually going to be an A. You know, go, yeah. the skill set like that. So Genji, Genji's high skill for sure. I think, um, yeah, Genji, Gen Genji could be deserving of an S, to be honest. Oh, interesting. Genji. I might move him down to A later, but for now, S tier. I am, yeah. So I think that Genji, um, I've seen a lot of really horrible Genjis, and you know, they really do have a knack for saying, I need healing. <laughs> and, um, but really good Genjis, yeah, like they, they need to master the uh, deflection and everything, and I think that it is pretty uh, highly skilled, so I'm gonna put him actually behind Reaper. Alright, 76, Soldier 76. Um, He's aim, and he's positioning, so if you've played FPS shooters in the past, then he won't be too much of a struggle for you. He's like very in between, you know, like he can't do too much even if you master him, but there's not too much to master uh, behind Reaper, but that just feels wrong that I'm dissing <laughs> Reaper. <laughs> okay, how about the soldier goes behind Reaper, but Reaper goes in front of Echo now. Okay, I may move- oh, that's also wrong. <laughs> I was gonna say, I love 76. I think Soldier 76 is a classic, obviously, and, you know, a lot of them are fun, like, the people you run into. Um, but as far as skill levels go, yeah, he's a very standard stock, like, FPS character, so I may move him maybe later, but for now, I'm gonna put him in D. Really, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, it does, and then he has the healing ability, which is really useful for the rest of the team. So I'm not dissing him, I'm just saying, like, compared to the other people, he may take less skill than most, mm -hmm. is all. <laughs> but the fact that you put him on Malka is just crazy. Okay, but, um, okay, okay, you know what, when you fine. say it that way, I feel bad. I feel bad, okay, he's gonna go right behind Junkrat. Okay. <laughs> Sojourn, on the other hand, I mean... She got nerfed, she got buffed again. Before she got nerfed in the first place, she was so broken. She still is kind of broken. Now, she's someone I actually could see being on Malga level. But, um, behind Junkrat. Um, I mean, yeah, so let's see. I would say... I agree with you. I think... I think she's in C for sure, mm. but I'm gonna actually put her behind 76. <laughs> Sombra, you know, we all agree we hate Sombra, <laughs> but she takes skill regardless, sometimes. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we can put Sombra in like... It depends what kind of somber you are. It doesn't take skill to go behind the mercy, hack them, and then just completely um, ruin their hopes and dreams. But um, at the same time, if you play strategic somber, that is quite hard to be honest. But this is weird. It's somewhere around like behind soldier, in front of soldier, behind echo, in front of echo kind of thing. <sighs> For now, in front of echo, but I'm probably going to change that. I think uh, you are correct with um, having a really good Sombra is kind of like having a really good Reaper. Um, having said that, you know, playing as Mercy, I don't like Sombras. Um, they're super annoying, but I could see that, you know, as someone who plays Sombra, they probably do need decent skill. Um, to be annoying, right? So 
I'm gonna put her in front of Junkrat. Okay. So right now I'm thinking about cleaning something up. Okay. I think... I th I'm thinking of moving someone from A to S. Okay. And I think for damage that would be Cassidy. Interesting, okay. And then... I might move one more tank up, I think. <clears throat> it's either Winton or Hammond. We'll think about that another time. Let's see. Symmetra. Symmetra. Yeah. Symmetra's like that in between, you know? Like, uh. Uh. In front of Rat, actually. Yeah, not, not too much going on with her, especially after the buff. So, with Symmetra, it's kind of interesting because. You don't really see too many Symmetra players, but when you do see them, they're either really good or really bad. Um, which makes me wonder about the skill levels for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put her actually in front of Junkrat. Torb. <laughs> it, it depends. There are so many ways to play Torb. One is just you don't stop smacking your hammer, and then when your turret dies, then you die as well, because you your spent so much time. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other way is like, it's, there's so many ways to play Torb. Some people are like, abusing their turret by just sending it in immediately and start fragging out and killing everyone, but um, like a mad short man. <laughs> But sometimes people are like, they play it smart, sometimes they put down their turret, they hammer it when it needs to, and they just shoot far range. Uh, behind Soldier in B. I think Torb players, yeah, um, the placement of the turrets are actually important, and learning that I think is a skill to master. Um, but once you have that down, maybe it's not as difficult. Um, uh, this one's kind of hard, but I guess I would place him in front of Symmetra. Tracer's S tier, for sure. Yeah, uh, she is a very skilled player. Yeah, Tracer, but the thing is where in S tier? Tracer takes more coordination than Cassidy, but Cassidy takes way more aim. Just for now, we'll put her in, like, the back of it, but your turn. Um, yeah, I placed her in S tier, too. Already? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, good. Venture. I've, I've played some Venture lately. I think, um, Venture is fun to play frontline, and Venture... Behind Soldier in front of Torb, maybe? I think... I think Venture is interesting in the sense that she's sort of like Mei, where she can just run away. I mean, not run away, but like, kind of take cover, oh. you know? Um, and they're kind of hard to kill on the enemy team. Mm -hmm. So... You have to be sneaky somewhat. I'm gonna actually put her uh, I'm gonna put her in front of Torb. Now Widow. Widowmaker is um I could see this one being an S tier. It's purely aim. I mean not purely, you gotta hide yourself as well but depends if you have good aim or not and for that reason in front of ash in a 
Yeah, I think Widowmaker, because it's solely aim, it's either you have it or you don't. Um, it depends on the player then. That means you can't play Widow. <laughs> My aim is not bad. Um, I do play as Ash, you know. Okay, so I would put her actually. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes are growing. I'm getting old. I need to retire like Anna. Um, I'm actually going to put her behind, uh, in front of Echo. Okay. Hanzo. Hanzo is like Widow's underdeveloped cousin sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Um. Like, he's, oh crap, I didn't mean to put him there. Okay, uh. I mean, he takes skill, but you Play him casually behind Torb, maybe. Okay. Um. I think oftentimes Hanzo can be quite annoying. Um. But that, with that said, you know, it's also aim. And then you, we've seen where it's not really a headshot, but it's anywhere in the general area. So, yeah, that's true. I'm going to put him in front of Torb. Bastion, I'm gonna be honest, I think most people agree with me, but I don't think he takes too much, because, uh, just don't die and shoot kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, he's tanky enough, you know. Yeah, um, behind Sojourn and C. Mmm, same. Um, your turn. May. Yes, you have. Oh, where you you did May already? May is super annoying. Um, but I do think that having a good May is definitely helpful. It's not based off of our level of hatred towards no, her. <laughs> Just put her in D, okay? There she goes. So we got Life Weaver. All right. Um. First of the supports. Oh. <clears throat> Did Anna sleep dart you? Yes, honestly, guarded me. Um. Life Weaver, I think. I mean, you don't really, like, go for damage, you just heal, which, when I played Life Weaver, he wasn't too hard, you just kind of pocket, um, put him in, like, C. Yeah, um, I would say that his damage is pretty good, no. but, <laughs> but I do agree, I think that he's not very difficult to play, so I'm gonna put him in C, too. Lucio, Lucio, so you can be a good Lucio and you can be a bad Lucio, and the payoff isn't too bad to be a bad Lucio. Um, as far as skill, I'm not very just like. Well, here's what I'm gonna say: you can have a really good Lucio, but you don't need to be a really good Lucio. So B. Interesting. For me, I would put him behind. Life Weaver. Mercy. I like your gameplay as Mercy, so I can't put her too low. Okay. Because I like when you play as Mercy. Okay. I think um, it's helpful, but uh, it might be like C or D. Um, <laughs> so I think we're gonna go S tier here. Yeah. Um, I think Mercy is really valuable to the team, especially with like, um reviving um i the reviving i think is the most like valuable thing for her and the blue beam obviously but um getting those off is can be quite challenging sometimes so i would put her in b um Moira is one of those that isn't too skilled like Mercy. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna put her in like above 
the one who's not in C. I'm gonna put her in front of Lucio. We got Brigitte. Yeah, Brigitte, I mean, like, I think it's skill, non biasum. I mean, I have heard that Brigitte is skilled, but this sounds biased, but I'll, I'll put it in S. Yeah, I think that Brigitte, it, she's one of the supports that really do require more skill to play, so. Like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put her in S. Ilari, yeah, you got the pylon, you got that. Um, you can kind of play casually though as Ilari. Mm, behind Lucio, I'm gonna put her in front of Mercy. Zenyatta, in between on the lower side. I think like above Life Weaver in C. Zenyatta, I think, uh, it's kind of easy to heal people, just throw the orb on them. Um, but it does take more skill, I guess, to do both healing and damage. So I'm gonna put him in front of Life Weaver too. Alright, All right. so we got Aina. Um, yeah, Aina, Aina has skill, I think, but, um, yeah, yeah I don't know. She's kind of on the upper level. Mm. Above Lucio and B. I think Anna um, can be very useful to the team, especially if you combine her nanos with other players' ultimates mm -hmm. and to time all of that and, you know, safely get away and everything. Um, it takes a little bit more skill, um, so I'm gonna put her in A tier. Baptist? I used to feel like he was harder, but at this point, he was quick to figure out. Um, behind Aina and above Lucio and B. So for Baptist, I feel that he is. Uh, if you have a really good Baptist, it's it's a game changer. Um, so I'm kind of conflicted between putting him in S tier behind Brigid or. Um, in front of Anna in A. Um, I think I'm gonna put him in front of Anna in A. Kiriko. The thing is, Kiriko could be skilled, except she's not because um, she just does too much too quickly. Um, I'd say, like, behind. Zenyatta above Life Weaver. So I think she's always uh, up there in terms of popularity. Um, but I'm gonna put her in front of Zenyatta. Oh god! Oh! I got sleep guarded. Uh, <laughs> and then she was just staring at me like. <laughs> All right, we got Juno, the last one. You know, I have been feeling like Juno somewhat takes some skill. A, so the first support in A. Yes, um, I think Juno, when she first came out, she was so uh, overpowered. Um, but having more time to kind of you know she got nerfed, right? yeah, I know. When I, I said when she first buffed. again. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, like having more time to assess her, I think um, she does take more skill because she has to be good at multitasking and she does everything, like even Lucio, like, you know, with speed. Um, so I'm going to actually put her in front of Anna. Yeah, so that is our tier list, and um, I think we are gonna wrap it up here. Though that was a, it was a fun tier list to be honest. It was. And then um, yeah, it was fun. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed our tier list. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. All right, take care, guys. Bye. Bye.